What is going on, guys? CJ is here from Ice Society Gaming, bringing you episode 2 of our Tiny Teenage Assault on Dragons Keep Let's Play. So, uh, we're just going into the uh, forest. We just got the three blood fruits from the trees. We just fought a bunch of orcs. And we're still on the Queen's Trail. I'm still looking for the Seraph vendors and any new weapons. So, let's keep going. More do you look different. Checkpoint here. We gotta... Oh, it's the... Where's your party? Your little party oh, hell. You see what's coming? You see what's coming toward me? Alright, now. Tina, we told you what happened to Bloodway. Yeah, I said that I wanted to get this maxi weapon just to check it out. Let's just play the game, alright? Oh, a Storm Knight Champion. Holy crap. Ah ha ha, ain't no man. Oh, Ultimate Badass Knight. Yikes. Ultimate Badass Knight. Holy hell. We are getting the hell out of there for sure. Alright, let's go over here. The Sacred Ruins. This is pretty far for, for a damn Moxie gun. Oh, a midget skeleton? A halfling. Okay. Alright, let's get down from here. So we can fuck these guys up with this Moxie weapon when we get it. Hopefully it's a pistol because this is a pistol build MB. Fucking sweet. Mike, I'm gonna try not to use a North Fleet at all because. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's an SNG. I got a one. A one? That's a critical fail. Otherwise, no one's a tumble. What? How can you fail to pick up a gun? Uh, it looks like the gun flies out of your hands into your distance. No, I should have washed my hands. Oh! Morty. Calm down, baby. Just track the gun down and roll again. What? I gotta find the weapon now again. All right, let's go then, dude. I'm moving, as you can tell. I'm I'm, I'm going pretty fast. Let's do this mission first. Let's not <clears throat> pick up any other missions. You find the gun again. Lilith, roll to pick it up. Um, oh, uh, oh man, I'm getting hit. While picking up the gun, it accidentally slips from your hands again, but not before breaking all your fingers. <laughs> What? Yeah. Breaking all of my fingers. Oh, come on. Tina's just trolling with us now. Give us this weapon, yo. It's an SMG, though, so I'll probably let give it to my siren for, the, for that playthrough. I'm still going to use it right now and see if it's a beast at all. Oh, the weapons all the way back here. Right. Let's do this. I'm sorry about backtracking already so early. I just really want to get this gun, check it out. <laughs> Alright, let's double check what's going on. See where we gotta go. I need to take a look at the map. Oh, right. Oh, there's a mission tree hugger. Oh boy. Let's go over here and get this gun.
Oh, Librant Spiders. Alright, I'm going. I'm out. I'm Audi. Good show, Z. Alright, I think it's over here. A oh, wicked stumpy. Right. You're done. Bye bye. Yeah, there is a. Here we go. There is the weapon. Pick that up. Against all known laws of probability, the gun transforms into an enormous monster. The swords for hands. Ah, sorry. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh. A rook, the butch. Oh, what? The Jerry rigged bone shredder. I officially hate dice. Miss Moxie's critical slippery when what? Chance to shock. Ooh, let's take a look at that. Um, uh, switch out this Jerry rigged bone shredder with this Miss Moxie's crit. Let's take a look at it. Alright, let's use it. Alright, let's get back on the Queen's Trail now. Even though this is a pistol build, I will do this. Just to switch it up. See what it does against Wicked Stumpy here. Uh, nothing really too much. Probably if I slag them, it will. We'll see. Oh yeah, if I slag them, it just tears them up. That's what I'm talking about, guys. This is a this is pretty pretty a pretty decent gun for Hatton to come back and get it. But we'll see how it does against Pyro Pete. That bone shredder, though, I don't know if you guys are leaving the comments. Isn't that the same bone shredder from the original story, or is that a completely different gun? I don't know why they would have him drop a bone shredder. Uh, Oh, a Miss Moxie's combination. Getting, just getting, just getting dude on, guys. Just getting destroyed. Look at that. Definitely a good gun. The good thing about the Moxie guns, if you don't know, is that they give you health. Each of them gives you a percent, the uh, percent, a little bit of the percentage of the damage that you do with that weapon, um, is returned to you in health. All guns vary. Um, the the Moxie's pistol is the highest, I think. I don't know, maybe this new one is, but the Moxie's pistol was the highest. Um, Alright, let's just uh, follow this trail now. Let's find the queen. It's <laughs> just destroying them. Oh, hell. Towering skeleton. Let's see what we can do against this dude with this gun. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. That's what I'm talking about. Right, let's go this way. Back over here. Hello, Davlin. We meet again. Oh, there's a thing's true. I just remembered this next fight won't work unless Roland's here. We should probably just take a break until Roland shows up. Stop it. It's not. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. The gatekeeper says. It reads the white knight for only. Oh, we're going to have to go get him and see on the map where this is. <clears throat> oh, I guess it's the game going the right way. 
Stevens. Is there something down here? He's over there. Okay, so we have to go around. Oh, a basilisk. <clears throat> you don't want none of this, bro. <clears throat> you don't want none of this, bro. <clears throat> if you guys didn't know already... Oh. Oh. Did we just see, like, a glitch? Okay. I have, I have no gun. Alrighty then. That is not good. Huh. Um, that gun just completely disappeared. Huh. Wow. Well, <clears throat> you guys saw it here first, and that gun just disappeared, so... Um, still got a few bugs and glitches to work out. It's a bummer, too. That was a pretty beast of a gun. I'm gonna have to put on my uh, unkept herald more. Ancient Red Dragon. I got you, man. I got you. I played Skyrim. I know the business. Oh! Guess I don't. I just got knocked down by an Ancient Red dr Dragon. They're I can't hit them. They're flying and shit. This is the only bad part about the uh, Uncapped Herald is like the spray. Uh, is the spray pattern of the gun? <clears throat> um, it shoots. I was in the shoots very slow, but it. You see, it kind of like curves out, and it's very hard to hit stuff in the air. You have to kind of lead your shots with it. So. Come on, I got you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's another one. Where is he at? Kill Ancient Red Dragon. Slag him. You ever been slagged before? Slagging mythical beasts one at a time. This is like the Bloodwing fight. Get up here and see if I can get a better vantage point. There we go. Alright, two are done. Where's this third one at?
Oh, come on. Come on. You have to, you have to go down. Where are you at? Where did you go? What the hell? This dragon just disappeared on us, yo. It's like a disappearing dragon. Here, I'm gonna go up here. Because last time I went up here, it kind of spooked the dragon into coming right at us. I don't know if we can get it to do that now. Huh. Alright. You see, it just must not be aggro. No dragon? Is he stuck or? Wait. I don't see any. Oh, there he is. He's coming straight at- Oh, I have no ammo. That totally sucks. Damn it, I cannot believe I have no ammo. Alright, here we go. Alright, screw this guy. I'm gonna bring up the bitch. Because it's very accurate. So it should be able to pretty much yeah, tag him. So I always like I always like to keep the bitch on me because it is so accurate that it can hit stupid things like these. Like my aiming is off because I've been playing COD, so G. There we go. Alright, nice. Just talk to the white knight. Come here, white knight. Talk to me. This can't be helped. I'll be honored as hell to join your quest. Roland doesn't talk like that. He does when I'm voicing him, bro. Yes, or shit. Now let's go. What? I was in that blimp looking for the queen. Or somebody burned it down. So, who's this queen anyway? What are you looking for? She's the most beautifulest woman in the history of the world. But he's got legs for days. Wow. That was unhelpful. Pina? Pina? <laughs> Should've got apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Alrighty then. What is this? A purple weapon? What? It dropped it. Huh. Let me know if that mission. Okay. Yeah, turn. Open this up. We're trying to get to save this princess here, and you're just taking up all the time.
Alright, it looks like we're... We're getting close to the queen. Just had to go this way, and it looks like she'll be up here, so... I think we're in... <clears throat> I think we're doing pretty good. There's a checkpoint right there, so... Oh. What is this place? Vitality Grove. This is where the Tree of Life first took root. The tree holds all the good and natural magics of the world. The queen must have come here to reverse the sorceress curse. The queen's, uh, not here. The writings say we could reverse the curse ourselves with a simple ritual. Give me the blood fruit. Well, this is a fail. Um, hold on, guys. Looks like here's some some clue up there that she's not around here. All right, come here, Davlin. Here's some blood fruit, man. Open all these chests over here. Oh, shit. Oh, you gotta pull- these are the guys you gotta pull their swords out of their bed. Plot <laughs> Oh, what the- Hell, oh, I gotta pull that out. I gotta pull that out. Alright, I gotta switch a little- everything around. For this. Okay, so this game is like glitching out, it seems like, and making me drop um, all of my good pistols. There's one in Cuphead right there. It's time to do this monkey style. King, the ghost king Elia. Listen, Elia, you ain't making it far, bro. The Skeleton King's head, where is it? Oh my god, what's up with this flying shit again? There you go. Eternal Skeletor. Done, unless you hit that shit out of his bag. Boom. I'm pulling that out. I'm pulling that beast out. Man, this is a... We got a hell of a lot of enemies at us coming at us right now. Boom. A lot of... Oh, it's because they got those swords. I think that's kind of cool, you know, bringing like, enemies like that. It makes you, you have to do stuff a little differently. Pull that out of there. Pull this one out, too, before this guy comes back up. Pull it. Pull it out. There we go. Someone's leveling up, but I'm not sure who it is. King Seth? What the hell? Okay, obviously one of these dudes is gonna drop something, so I just don't know what it's gonna be. Hey, King Seth's head. That goes out of your freaking hole. Hey, 
can pull that out. Man, this is crazy. There we go. Let's see if these dudes dropped anything. It was cool, good. Let's see a purple over here. No. As a representative of the Queen's Imperial Guard, I, Roland W. Knight of Justice. Anyway, if you're looking for the Queen. Nice. Alright, we're gonna have to head to the Dwarven Mines. Let's do that. Let's go right over here. This is pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking, the more I'm playing it, the more I'm liking what, I, what I'm seeing. It's definitely a lot different than what everyone's used to for this game, but I think it's really cool. It's always good to switch everything up, I feel like, sometimes, you know. Because if you've been playing this game as long as I have, which is since it came out, I mean, it seemed kind of seemed kind of stale. Wow, look at these chests. Let's see if we got anything in them. Oh, bogus! What the hell? Nothing. We need some of these legendaries. These legendarios. Let's go. Holy shit, dragons. I guess dwarves and dragons like to chill, maybe? Dwarves and... Chests everywhere. These vases. I have enough ammo, so let's just go to the mines of the mines of Avarice. This is the dwarven mines. I'm assuming. Can't wait to see what the invincibles are. I really. I mean, I know. I know what the premise of this is, but I haven't really looked into it to the fact to the point that I know what the invincibles are and all that stuff so we can go down here we could team up with the dwarves or I'm gonna team up with the dwarves that is cray cray boom Dwarf camp. Why? Kill sadistic orc invaders. Alright, we'll help these dwarf dudes out. If they're either gonna help me take down the sorcerer, we can definitely help them out to do this. Yeah, how does that feel? How do you like them apples? Oh shit, we just got rammed by one, like a freaking dump truck. The bloodlusted orca's eyes are ain't sh Oh, I killed both of them. A collateral. Like, we need to see some- I need to start seeing some weapons. I need to start finding some of Seraph, uh... Oh, Warlord Ton Turg. Let's kill this guy. Cause if you guys didn't know, the higher the level they are, usually the better stuff they drop. And I don't know, maybe one of these guys drops a unique. So I'm gonna kill pretty much all the high level, like the 64 guys and stuff. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna kill them because they might drop something. No, just a pretty standard. I can even check up. Um, I think we're gonna wrap, we're gonna wrap this one up after we get to the Dwarf King up here. 
and get through this part and then we'll pick up right after that hope you guys are enjoying the series if you are leave some feedback don't forget to hit the like button um comment subscribe Oh, what? We just killed the... We just punched the Dwarf King. What? Oh. I did not see that one. Well, I did not see that coming. We literally just punched this guy that was supposed to help us with the sorcerer. Now what are we gonna do? Find a mine exit? That ain't the mine exit. The mine car is trying to run me over. I'm trying to take a shortcut. It didn't work. Right, I'm not really sure how to get out of here. Oh, probably gotta go around. Yeah. Orc Invader. I'm not even gonna mess with these dudes right now. I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm gonna dip set the. <clears throat> Add that we exit out of here, guys, and we'll definitely uh, wrap up this episode. Um, like I was saying, if you like if you like what you're seeing, if you like this series, leave it some likes, leave it some feedback. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. All of that stuff will be in the description. Um, if you're curious about this uh, pistol build, uh, what what the build exactly is, I actually made a video about it a couple about a week ago, and um, I'll put that in the description too. You're probably wondering because it is probably just wrecking everything. Um, we're not really having too many problems besides those dragons, but that was just because they're flying. Oh hell no! It is clad trap. Another band of adventurers looking to take down the sorcerer. Look, you won't make it. You either die or be enslaved. And I can't do this. You continue in your foolhardy quest. You shall not pass. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go ask this wizard about this door magic. Why do we have to chase people? Is this like a new? Is this a new mechanic for Borderlands? Is gonna be is chasing the the wizard? Definitely doing these parts with my siren is gonna be easy. Anybody with the siren, that rough rider. What's up here? Oh. What? Where did he just open to? No way! That's like my third favorite type of magic! Look, you're gonna need the secret dwarven passphrase to open the door. Go find some weird runes scattered around the mines. I, I bet those are the letters making up the passphrase. So if you find the letters, you can probably get out of here. All right, guys, they're definitely going to wrap it up now. Um, thanks for watching all of our videos. Thanks for the support. And until episode three, this is...